It's June 24, 2023, and I'm in front of Ari Long High School in Longview, Washington, and we've got a Centennial Car Show going on, part of the Centennial Celebration for Longview. Longview was formed up in 1923, and now it's 2023. So we'll go and look at some of these old, old cars. Hello. Howdy. Can you tell me about your car? This is a very similar to the first car my father ever had. Yeah, what year is it? 1931 Chev uh, Roadster. I'm doing a video for, uh, we'll be putting it on KLTV. Mm -hmm. uh, let's have a look, let's see what we got here. Here's the story here. Okay. Let's see if we can zoom in on it here. Very nice. And uh, what was your name, sir? Bob Koenig. Bob? Yep. So uh, you bought it as is, or did you yeah, do a lot I, of work on it? Just, it took me three years to find it, because it was so specific a car that my dad had that I had to, it took a long time to find one. It was already put, put together. I've restored an old car, and I wasn't interested in doing it a second time. So Sounds like a lot of work. There, there's a lot of detail to it. I'm not a real detailed person. There's a lot of detail work. Then that's what I end up having to do with this because it's all restored, but I do a lot of... Does it go pretty fast? Yeah, it'll go on the freeway. It's Restromod. It's got... Uh, the suspension is all redone. It's got disc brakes on it. So underneath is real... Sounds roadworthy. Yep. Take a few more pictures of it here. A Chevrolet. Those, those are the original tires. Of the spare tires are the original tires. Uh huh. 1931 Chevrolet Sport Roadster Deluxe. I've never had a convertible, so convertibles are interesting. Yeah. This is what you call a rumble seat, isn't it? Yep. My granddaughter rides back there. Is this the wiper? Yes, that's aftermarket. Uh huh. It's a little electric one they put in afterwards. They had a hand. What they have originally? Originally it was just a hand one. A hand one, okay. Reach up there and switch. Oh, that's a It's like somebody did some nice work on the trunk here. Yep. Okay, a horseless carriage. Well, thank you for showing us. You bet. Here's a 1935. A Ford. 
Ford four door. I don't think those are the original tires and rims. And in every yeah, there's walking. <laughs> yep, that's more. More uh, Chuck, you stood right in front of that guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. And I don't think that's a real dog. No. Yeah, somebody would have probably would have shot it, you know. But otherwise, being on the tire. 1937 Austin. <laughs> It's in Austin. With the center. Yeah, in, his, in that notebook, he has the whole story of how it came to be, how he put it together, and some of the mysterious facts. Uh -huh. Those do look like yeah, original he, tires. He put that together. What's that? Hi, is this your car? No. This lady's here. So it must be from England. <laughs> Tell me about your car. It's 1935 Austin. Yeah, seven. how long have you had it? Uh, twice. My husband and I have owned it twice. He had it in the late 70s and then he got it back in 2009 and he totally restored it. Did you do a lot of work on it? A lot. There's a notebook in the back if you want to see it. But he took, it was a frame off restoration. And uh, it's, it's, that's funny. It was made by Austins before they collaborated with Healy. And so Austin Healy, you're probably familiar with that name. Uh, but this is a ruby model. They also made opals and pearls. So this is called a gem car. Uh -huh. And in the war, 1939-40-41, um, they couldn't get fuel in England, so they used coal gas. And I don't know if you know what that is, but there's a rack, a luggage rack on the back, and they would put a little burner, and on top of that they put coal, heated it up just so that there were fumes, and they collected it on a big bladder on top of the car, and then they piped it into the motor. They, they ran it off of coal gas. Uh, this gentleman over there that my husband was just talking to is from England and he remembers these cars. They were family cars in the time, in the day. It's just around town. We like taking it to car shows here and restaurants. And I bet you get a lot of people uh, making comments on it. Yeah. Yeah. Upholstery was done by Jeff Shelton. He's a local upholsterer here. He does lots of hot rods and customs. He does a fabulous job. My husband's known him for years. And the paint was by Baron's Body Shop over in Kelso. They did a fabulous job. You were really driving. It's a lot of fun. Right hand drive, if you didn't notice. Well, thank you. Enjoy. Look at the notebook if you have time. Oh, yeah. 1935 Austin. I had Over here we've got a 1934 Ford. <laughs> With a dead chicken. He had a 56 Packard. A bright red paint job. Red and black. And big fat running boards. I suppose you could hop on the running board and go for a ride if the guy didn't go too fast. And we've got the ever popular 1957 Chevy Bel Air. And I had a, a friend whose dad had one. And but it was a four-door. 
So back in the day, you know, it wasn't cool to have a four-door. You needed to have a two-door. This is a two-door. It's like a two-door hardtop. Anyway, my friend borrowed the car and went to the drive-in movie. And when he left, he forgot to remove the speaker from the window. So fortunately, the cord broke and he didn't tear out the window. So that's my 57 Chevy story. So well over 50 years old. This is a beautiful example. It's got the wide white walls, tires, which you don't see anymore. Just about all the cars have black tires, black walls. And he's got the dice in the window. Very good for cruising. And a lot different than new cars. No padded dash. And on the old cars, if you got in a wreck, you had to watch out. The steering wheel might impale you. So they've made a lot of safety improvements over the years on cars. And we've got a 53 Willys Jeep. They don't look much different than that right now for the new ones. A little different, of course, but they're all four-wheel drives. And, of course, he's got some newer tires and rims on this one. And here's a 1951 Chevy half-ton pickup. It's got a little bit of pinstriping on the hood. And I believe this has been lowered. I don't think they set that low when they were originally. The nice newer wheels and tires. I think they call those Coke bottles. Wonderful paint job on this rig. Hi, is this yours? Not mine. Okay. You've got some pinstriping on the metal dash. Some comfy looking seats. I doubt that those are original. And the stick shift on the floor. Yeah, looks like a more modern radio sitting in there above the stick shift. And he's got the dice. And the windshield. And now we've got a 1935 Ford back here. I guess I'll see. Well, hi. Lou, how you doing? What are you doing? Getting everything fancy up around here? Making a nice video here. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they painted the door handles. It's a 1935 Ford with a 350 Chevy V8 in it. Yeah, looks like a cassette player over there. Looks like a custom steering wheel. We got a 1947 Olds convertible. Run away. Oh, baby moons and 
trim rings. Well, I know. Got a Chevy over here, it's either 55 or 56. And some of them they had the gas filler behind the tail lights. And some of the old cars they had the gas filler behind the license plate. This one has the gas filler on the side here. I haven't seen rims like this before, it's pretty unique. Okay, this is a 55 Chevy convertible. I don't think that's quite stock. Full custom comprehensive restoration from the top to the bottom. Powered by a fuel injected crate L S6 V8 engine producing 500 horsepower paired with a custom 4 speed automatic transmission with a custom leather floor mounted console shifter full fabrication to fit the L S6 including the firewall this was a no expense spared build Rides on a custom built racing chassis built by RS Roadster Shop in Chicago for superior road handling and rolls on a custom shot wheel setup for the stance. Features a rear triangulated four link suspension, stainless steel gas tank, black ceramic coated exhaust. Aluminum radiator with dual electric fans and aluminum air conditioning condenser. Also has a complete billet front accessory drive. Aluminum overflow tank and aluminum power steering reservoir. Finished in custom Hawaiian sea blue metallic paint. Complemented by custom cream metallic two-tone and the chrome and trim have been restored to show quality. New black hearts cloth convertible top folds down into the rear of this Bel Air. Interior finishes a features a classic instruments gauge cluster, a vintage air system, new port wipers, power steering and a six-way power adjustable front bench seat. Rolls on shot wheels, 18 inch in the front and 19 inch in the rear, wrapped in Toyo Proxies tires. Ray and Jean Caldwell. Well, I think Ray Caldwell was a builder, a house builder.